Hi everyone and welcome to Lisa's Painting Parties. I am your host Lisa and today I will take you through a painting tutorial on a close-up of a uh, peacock and all their beautiful feathers and uh, it'll look absolutely fun and fabulous and um, yeah you'll be able to paint this too even if you're a beginner painter I will walk you through it step by step and we'll have lots of fun and if you join me for this um, paint uh, evening or session whenever you're actually doing it um please take a picture of your painting when you're done and share it on my facebook page because i love to see um everyone's paintings everyone always has like a different uh style or unique like take on it so i'd love to take a look and, and check that out feel free to um change any aspect of this painting if you want to change it to the colors if you want to change anything about it the orientation whatever you want you can make it your own and change it up um, I'll walk you through um, how this looks step by step and we'll go from there um, and uh, I am using acrylic paint so the paint that I'm using <clears throat> we'll go through our supply list is uh, this is called artists loft um, it's an acrylic soft body acrylic paint I get this from Michaels here in Canada um, it's pretty cheap you get quite a nice size for less than ten dollars a bottle um, I also often use deco art crafters acrylic and that's from the dollarama so they're like not a dollar anymore i think it's like a dollar fifty per bottle or something now and those dry with like um, a matte finish so um basically you can use cheap paint to create this image and that will be totally fine of course if you have already dipped your toes into some fancier paints feel free to go ahead and do that as well um i use supplies and i continue to use supplies that are <clears throat> very uh, cheap and entry level so that anyone who comes on and starts painting you know that you can go and get very minimal uh, cost investment to be able to uh, paint these paintings as well so that's what I'd like to stick with uh, besides the acrylic paint I have paper towel I use paper towel quite a bit um, to clean off my brushes instead of putting them in water acrylic paint is water um, is a water-based paint um, and I have two water containers here as well however it is permanent when it dries so if you do get it on your clothes it will be permanent unless you can get it out immediately when it's still wet there are some other tips and tricks to get it out but like i prefer not to go down that path so <laughs> just try to be cautious about that i have my paint palette uh here ready to go and then i also have paint brushes i suggest you have a variety of sizes but at least have a large a medium and a fine point brush at least three sizes and again I've got in most of my paint brushes um, a lot of them that I use for the paint parties that I host are from like a dollar ramo or from Amazon and they're like pretty cheap basic quality paint brushes um, so you can get pretty good quality for that um, also um, I've also got paint brushes before from Michaels as well and they'll sell like a pack of like 15 or them for like a cheaper price and they're all like long handle I really like like long handled paint brushes but again you do you um so the ones i'll be using are all flat and they give you like a lot like quite a bit of um coverage um and i'm going to be doing a larger canvas this time usually i do paint um when i do these ones are like 12 to 16. so this might end up taking a little bit longer the session mostly because of the size of my canvas um so this is um a 16 by 20 canvas um that i'll be doing today so if you are ready, we'll get started. First off, make sure you have a drink or something as well. I think I actually, oh, I didn't bring my water. Okay, good. I was like, I think I forgot my water <laughs> and that would not be a good thing. I'm just gonna pop my hair up. So still might get in the way a little bit, but not fully in my eyes, which is important. And then what I'll do is I will move the camera over and you'll be able to see my canvas better. Um, so, um, if you're catching me here, then, um, this is a recorded, uh, video, so you can feel free to leave any comments that you'd like. Um, I will see them and I do read and respond to them, um, as much as, or as soon as I can. Um, so please feel free to do so. Um, and I think that's about it. Yeah. Oh yeah. And if you enjoy the, these painting parties and you like this flow, um, there are over a hundred uh, painting tutorial videos on my YouTube channel and also on my Facebook page under the videos tab. Um, I'm also available to host uh, virtual parties. So if you want to get a bunch of people together and do a virtual session with me, I will be more than happy to do that with you. Um, and I also do in-person sessions if you're in the Toronto 
or greater Toronto area. I'm east of Toronto, so I, I support predominantly the Durham region. So that's like Pickering, Ajax, Whitby, Oshawa, Peterborough, anywhere around there. Um, but I do also, um, we'll go into Toronto or uh, GTA as well if uh, anyone has any paint parties or any events that are coming up. All right, so that's the little spiel right there. These are all free, so um, no payment is required or asked for. So if you see any random things asking for fees and whatever, um, those are like scammers. They have, they've kind of stopped in the last little bit. They were like hardcore for a while, <laughs> but just know that none of that is required. Okay. All right. Keep everyone safe. So let us move the Kamaha so you can see this a little bit better. Oh, that's a little blurry. Refocus on my face. No, nope, we're going to get a blurry time right now. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm going to bring you up a little bit. Try and get the full. Yeah. Again, it's really like, what is happening? I'll do it like that. All right. So I'm going to do things a little bit different this time. Normally, I'm a huge advocate of getting our background on first and then layering up. This time, I'm not going to do that. It's going to be crazy. But what I'm going to do is I want to actually put in the head the head of my peacock in first. So right now I am using this in a um, portrait size. My easel, if you want to call it that, is not the best for it, but that's okay. Okay, so we're going to do that first. So um, I'm going to go right in and use my blue <clears throat> um, to do this. I'm going to get blue and I'm going to use my medium size brush. So I just have like a glob of blue. See with all my other globs of paint, don't really wash this palette. I just let it like form. Now it's like creating another layer. <laughs> okay. So um, I want the head, I want this to be kind of in the center here. So I want to just have a line kind of where I want the middle of the body to be. So I want it to be like that, essentially. Is where I want this body to be. Okay, so now we're going to thicken him up a little bit. So I want it to come out. Maybe like that. It's like an S shape down the middle. And then we're going to thicken it up a little bit. Okay, and I, this neck does need to be a little thicker than this. This is not a little too thin. Okay, we can start filling it in with the blue. Move that a bit wider, I think. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, just gonna paint down the middle of this. You can switch over and use like a bigger brush if you just want to get. I'm just gonna. I just want to get paint on here. Okay, and then we want our head, and our head is going to be. Kind of like an oval with like an egg essentially right so we're going to have a, an egg on its side so it's very like round it has a nice round bottom and it's a little bit pointier to the tip of that and i usually want to go a bit smaller 
than what I think, and then I can always make it larger as I as I go. So it looks like I do want this one. That doesn't really make sense yet. Okay. Okay, and then I want this head to go out more. A little bit more than that too. Just kind of widen it as we go and then I'm going to connect it and then we'll look at it and say okay like does it look proportional do I like it do I not like it like what what's going on here I think I want it to come a little thicker over here. Okay. So now we have where our peacock guy is going to live, which is awesome. And that looks very, very nice. So what shall we do? So we can start if we want. All right as well. Maybe we'll start playing with the body of the peacock. So I'm going to need a little bit of white. And then I'm going to need a little bit of black. Start darkening up some spots. I will need yellow for the beak and stuff. Um, not just yet, but I'll put it on my palette to get it started. Okay. Um, and probably a little bit of red, to be honest, because I'm going to want that yellow to be a little orangey. Okay, cool. All right, so how do we want this? So we want it to be a little darker. We want a little bit here, so some shadows happening here. Okay, and everything's still quite wet. So I'm putting this on, the paint's still pretty wet. Okay, so this is all pretty wet. And then I'm gonna go back and get my blue and I'm gonna pop it right on top of the black. And whenever I do, I start where the blue is and then I'm dragging it into the black. So I started off by going right on top here to soften and to blend, right? And then when I go back and grab the blue, I start in the blue zone and I go into the black. So I go in the blue zone and then go into the black and that creates a nice blend. So again, we're gonna go over the black right on top bringing it to like the edge. Okay. And then I'm going to get the blue in the blue zone and bring it into the black. Okay. Same on this one here, right on top of that. And I'm going to get the blue in the blue zone and then I'll bring it into the black, into that shadow area. Okay. So again, I just got more blue and I'm bringing that blue back in, in the blue zone over to the black. I have not put my water, my brush in water. I've not wiped off my brush. So sometimes what will happen is when I'm in the lighter blue zone area, some of the dark color will come on and that will be okay. Okay. Okay, so now we have a little bit of a shadow happening here. Okay, 
and we're going to do a little bit of like a highlight too. So we're going to get a little bit of white and this will be trickier to do. Okay, now I clean up, I put my brush in on the paper just to try to get some of the stuff off. Oh, I have like red on my finger. <laughs> Okay, and then again, uh, once I put that in there, I'm going to go into the blue and bring it into the white. Blue zone, and then bring it into the white. Just like a little bit of a highlight there. Okay, and then there's another one like here, which we might have to do afterwards. I don't know if that's going to show up at all. Okay, but I'm going to do the same technique and go into the blue and bring it into the white. Okay. I'm just going to go back over some of the spots because I like the, I like it to look painterly. I like to be able to see the strokes of my brush. Okay. Not too shabby. All right. So now I want to continue with the blue of the head and then we're going to block in where that nose is going to be. The nose, <laughs> the beak is what I meant to say. Okay. So let's get a little bit that black again. So we're going to put a little bit shadow back here. We're going to do a little bit on top there and a little bit here, right? We're going to have a little bit in this area and then we want it to come Okay, so now let's get the blue again. And go right over there, get a little bit more blue, and go over in the blue zone, and bring it into the black. Ooh, that one was not very wet. Okay, so we have a little bit of the shape happening here. All right, so now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to my thinner brush and we're going to put in where I want this beak to live and how it's going to work in here. So this might be a little tricky. Let's see, how do we want this to work? So... The beak is probably going to start about here. It's probably going to be about here. Okay. We're going to continue it on the nose. Hmm. Maybe I need to do it white first. Uh, I want it to come. And give it a point. And then it's going to have a curve this way. Okay. And then this will end up almost like leading into like, there's like the eye here. It's almost like we're going to do some mascara outline around the eye. And this is again, just to like place it and we'll Make it work a little bit better afterwards and we'll make it come out a bit more. Okay. So let's just Okay. 
I feel like that should go lower. That's not right. Is that... Hmm. I think that's more like that. Kind of like that. Yeah, that's what I need. Okay, so this darkness isn't going to work where you put that darkness initially. Okay, that's fine. We can fix it. So this is actually going to be yellow. And yes, I'm using like a bit of a reference photo. So I can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm not sharing it though, because I don't have, it's not my own photo. So I'm just using it as a reference to get like the shape and the color of the bird. I'll give it a bigger beak. The eye area would come around and then it'd be like that. And all of this would be the beak area. Essentially. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, and now we're gonna, <clears throat> we ended up taking away that area we had created under here and here. So we need to put that back in. So I'm going to just go and do that here and get a little bit of black in my blue to create this little triangle there. And then the same thing under here. Okay. And then let's go lighter and we're gonna have a bit of a highlight over here. And then we'll use the blue. Soften that. Okay, and then it's a little darker on this side. Okay. Okay. And then it's also a little bit lighter here. And also Okay. And then I need to just like make a bit this more blue coming up this way. Okay. And then a bit more of that dark under here. Okay, that's better. Not 100%, but it's better. Okay. So now as this dries, we can start playing a little bit more with the shape and whatnot and get some of the shadows happening. So again, let's just get some more of this blue on here. I'm gonna get a little bit of the black because I want it to be on the top. Okay, I'm gonna get more of the blue. I'm 
and feed this blue into this black. Okay, and then I need to be a little bit more messy with that line. Okay, and then I want to put a little bit, a little white up here. Okay. Okay. Some more blue. Okay, so this white's a little too prominent. I'm just going to dull that out a little bit. Yep, yeah. and I just need more of this blue. Just put a bit more of the regular blue in here. Okay. Okay. So now let's just look at the image a little bit more. Okay. So I think I want to get some, I just need to make this a little bit more opaque. I'm going to use white to do that. The beak. Okay, and then now that I got white, I'm going to put more yellow and I'll probably need to let this dry before I can do another layer to really make all those colors pop. Okay. All right. So, and then I want to do the inside here, the inside eye. So I, it's, it's the blue, but it's a little darker in some spots. So this is kind of, the shape isn't accurate yet. So this yellow line is going to be much thinner. That's going to come out this way. Okay, it's going to come out this way. And then it's going to come down. Okay, and then it's going to appear. Okay, so we're going to do like another one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I need to get a bit more I just put a little bit more black under here just to give it a bit different the shape around the eye. Okay, that's working. Cool. And then, okay, so I think I'm going to have to let that dry and then we'll go back in and do a little bit more on there. But for now, let me just see how it looks. So this kind of ends here, right? But there's a little bit of like, it's like a bit of a darker spot there. I think that's where the It connects there. Okay, so 
I think I want to stop there and then I want to start playing with some of the background, how that's going to work. And again, this is, well, again, sorry, this is going to be a process since I'm, I didn't just paint the whole thing. We're going to be doing it in sections. When we start off, it's going to look very sparse, kind of weird, but we need to like trust the process and go with it. And then we'll keep building and building and you'll see that it'll start to come out and look really, really cool as we keep going. Um, okay, so... just looking for I've seen like a few different um, examples of the way to paint this so I just wanted to play with that a little bit oh and see that one's totally different <laughs> I guess all peacocks can be a little bit different so that's fine okay we're not gonna worry about that so we have this guy looking pretty cool um, and then we'll play with it a bit more and do the beacon to get all that going. So right now, I think we're going to play with um, some of the spots. So let's let's do that. So I think first off, we're going to pick the colors that we want to use. So I definitely like the greens, the teals. I want to get some like orangey red spots in the middle. I like that a lot. Um, Okay, so let's start with, what color should we start with? Let's get our medium brush and we're going to start to plug in some of these spots. So I want to put, let's say we have, hmm, I don't want to start with the spots. I want to start with the way everything else is looking I'm like scared to start as soon as I start then it'll be okay it's just like the first bit is a little bit like ah okay so if we have like a spot here okay so then that will be the red let's say and then I want to have a bit turquoisey let's play with that one for now and then we'll go around with some other colors after I don't know. We'll play, go back and forth. Maybe I'll get yellow actually first. And then maybe we put yellow in the middle like that. Okay. So then I'm going to do another one. It's going to be here. So they're kind of like almond shapes. And I'm just... playing with them and then I'm going to get yellow. I didn't clean my brush off either. I'm going to just grab it and stick the yellow in the middle and then I just use the paper towel to get the excess off my brush so I don't get too much red because I don't want the whole thing to be red. And then maybe we do another one here. Okay, I grab yellow, go in the middle. And this is like the first run, like I'm probably going to go over it again and like add more things to it. And then we'll do another one like here. Another almond shape in red. Okay. Get yellow, pop it in the center, like that, okay, and then we will do another one here, where this one kind of goes up, I get the yellow, put it in the center. Okay. So we have some nice little spots all over the place. Okay, maybe we do another one like here. And then it kind of goes off.
Okay, and then I'll grab yellow, stick it in the middle, and then there we go. Okay, and then maybe I want to do one more like here, also off to the side. I'm doing besides blindly, I know. <laughs> And yellow in the middle. Okay. And another one up here. Okay. That's cute. And then here we're not going to do it because that's kind of the back of the, um, I was going to say pigeon. That's funny. Not pigeon, peacock. So we're not going to do anything right there, but then we're going to continue playing with these colors. Okay. So now I want to go and I want to, I think I'm going to use the turquoise to start putting in some of the, the way these feathers are going to land. So let's say this one here and it's going to come out and around I know nope, not like that it needs to come out more like that yes so we're gonna put a few lines to get the shape of what this is going to it's gonna be a line down the middle Okay. And then it kind of closes up on the other side, right? Okay. Okay. So let's say now we get the other blue and now let's say we put it in between these colors here. Okay, but I think down here we're going to go with like a yellow. I think up there we'll do like a bit more of this like ready color orangey if you have orangey that would be a great one to go with kind of so we start getting this whole idea down very basic because it's not showing it up the way we want it to be but this is like where we're going to then build on top of okay so let's do the next one Let's say this one here. So this one will come down like this. Right? And then we're going to have it come up.
Okay. And then get some of this blue, pop it in between. Okay, I'm get yellow and red, get some orange. Okay, so now we have that going. Okay, let's do the next one. Let's say this guy here. So we're going to have this come here. And then we're going to have it come out. So always in this like kind of almondy shape, but not like continuous lines that attach all the time. Okay, and then we'll probably add a few more that come around this way, maybe this way. There we go. Okay, and then we have this guy, and again the same. Very, very good. Okay. And then we're going to get blue. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to get red, oh, and then just get more yellow. Okay, so red and yellow, get a little bit of orangey happening. And it's okay if we get it on our, um, peacock because we can we're going to be again still going over and doing a few more things to him so no stress I'm just trying to get the anywhere that I see some white I just want to cover it up a little bit okay cool and then let's continue going around to get this first face done. So here, so I'll kind of come out. And then down and up and around. one here.
get some of the blue, which I looks like I need some more of. Mm -mm 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 Okay, and now we need some orange. Okay. All right. And now, where else do we need to go? We have that guy over there. So we're just going to bring that and then Okay. All right, so I'm liking I'm liking it. This is good. This is a nice blue, nice vibe to it. Um just thinking I think I might still want to do a little bit behind here. Maybe I'll do like one more and then we can change things up. Let's just do one more. So another kind of red. Another yellow in here. Okay. And I guess we could start doing some of the orange ones if we want to. Okay. And I see I get more of the turquoisey. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. And then when we look behind it, so here, and we're also going to touch that. We're not done. Although this is a nice base and a nice way to start it off. I think it looks really fun. So you get like the vibe of like what we're going for, where the colors are going to be, how we want to play with it. And we're going to do like kind of another layer on top to really like emphasize it and to really give you that peacock eye on each of the ones, right? Like that's how we'll get that done. All right. So on, um, here it's kind of like hmm how do we want to do this and what color do we want to use i think it should be similar but like different so what does that mean hmm. 
Okay, so I think I'm going to go with the darker blue to start. And then we're kind of going to have almost like little arcs. Okay, let's pop some of these arcs in like half, like upside or like rainbows, however you want to, whatever works in your brain. Okay. Let's do like little arcs. Okay. So there we go, and that does give it a good shape. I'm going to go back to my um, teal, and I'm going to go in and just add a teal arc under each of my blue ones. Very willy-nilly. Like I'm not really worrying about mixing the paints. Okay. Everything's pretty wet. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to go with white, I think. And then I'm just going to go also in the same. Curviness with the white and I'm just now I'm kind of almost going on top I'm covering everything I can see of my canvas and even though I'm using white because it's touching all the other wet paint my white is getting messy very quickly which I'm digging because I don't want it to be like stark white okay and now that I have that going, hmm, I'm going to go with that blue again, and we're going to go back over with these circles, with these curves. I'll make it look a little bit neater. Okay. And now just with my brush without any paint, I'm just going to go over that line, the top line, just to like mess it up because some of them are a little too like I can see very clearly clearly the line and I do want to see it a bit but I want it to be a little bit more blended certain spots okay cool I think yeah I like that okay so it gives me the effect the whole little bumpy bumpy on the back um, and then we could add some more details on that later if we so desire. All right. So now I want to play more with this background. And essentially, um, we're going to do the same thing we just did. Um, but we're going to do like another layer kind of on top. And this time our goal is to ensure that none of the canvas will be visible. Okay. So that's going to be our focus, our importance at this point okay um, I think I want to play with a bit more colors I do want to add so I have I do need a little bit more red so I want my red and my yellow because I want to get an orange going 
Maybe I'll start with that. Let's start with the orange and then go from there. How about that? Okay. So I do want some orange happening. on like the edges. Okay. I like the orange because orange and blue are like opposite colors on the color wheel. So they really pop and make everything stand out when they're put together. So I like having this orange happening. All right, let's play with the other colors. I also want to do some purple, I think, too. Pop some of that purple here. And then I do want, let's get some red, a little bit more red. Oh. Okay, that is dirty. All right. Red, and then I think I need some more blue. Um, this is a different blue, it's tropical blue. It's a little bit lighter, and then I have the regular just called blue from Artist Loft. Okay, so where shall we start? Okay, I want to, let's put in, put a line there. Line there. So this is that lighter tropical blue that I have. Getting that in a few spots. And again, I'm trying to see where there's still like white that I can see in the canvas and cover up some of those areas.
I'll put some up here. Okay, then here. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, I don't think I put enough up here though. No, I didn't. Okay. So now let's get this bright blue. Okay, that was good. Okay, and I'm still using the medium brush, but you can always go down to like a thinner brush if you want, depending on the size of your canvas and how you want the strokes to be. All right, and now I think I'll, I do want to do purple, but I'm a little scared because I feel like the purple is going to be like a little crazy. Um, yeah, so maybe before I do that, no, you know what? Yeah, I am going to do purple first. Okay, so I'm going to do purple, and I'm going to kind of try to stick to like some of these zones 
these darker zones. I got Um, I don't know where to go over here. Well, too much paint on that brush. Okay. All right. So now I think I want to go back to my turquoise and add some more defined strokes in the turquoise. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Cool. So we're just going to keep playing and adding these strokes of color. Until you're feeling pretty good about, um, yeah, the way it's all looking. And the great thing about acrylic is that as it dries, you can always add more on top. I feel like I go to the wrong color sometimes. <laughs> I 
It's looking very cool. This is kind of the main color, I think, this turquoise. So I want this one to stand out really nice. Okay, so now let's get some yellow. And again, the yellow. is also another main one. Let's get this one on top. And I really want it to be noticeable. So we have it as a nice like under layer, like it's definitely popping through different spots but I do want it to come out on top as well. Especially at the bottom here. When it's near the purple, it's also an opposite color, so it really stands out nicely there too. And again, we're just following the same curves that we've done initially. Okay, that is looking absolutely lovely. Okay, so now I want to go back and I want to define these red zones. I want to come back in here and get nice red. I'm going to do them all, I think, fully, and then we can always redefine it after as with another color once it dries. Okay, so just define those. I'm going to let those dry and then we'll do some more detail on that as well. Okay, so next up, what are we at with time? Not too shabby. 
just over an hour so far. Pretty darn good. Okay, so I want to go back over my main peacock guy here. And I'm just going to define the outline again because it's obviously gotten quite messy since we played with um, the background, which makes sense. That was anticipated. Okay, so I'm going to, I have like a, another medium sized brush, but it has a bit of um, like a, it's kind of like a, a side edge to it. So I'm going to use that brush to help with some of this definition. So again, I'm going to go with this blue, put a little bit of black in it, to dirty it up a little bit. I'm just going to go around. Okay. You can use any brush that can help you get a nice crisp line. Okay, so I'm just going to go along the outline just to define that a little bit better. So let's just put some blue. Okay. Okay. There you go. That's good. I like that. I like that. And I like that. Okay. So now we need to see how we want to do this guy. I think we should pop in his eye, like the eyeball, and then build from there. So I'm going to use my detailed brush to get an eyeball. The eyeball is going to be circle. It's going to be about here. What? Okay, so I'm going to start like here. And again, I suggest you go smaller and then you can always make it bigger if you so desire. If you go a bit too big to start, it's harder to make it smaller. Okay. 
I'm going to go with white around the eye because it will just be easier and then I can always change the color of it afterwards. So this has kind of goes around. Ooh. This is brush is not my best friend. Okay, that is good. Okay, and then we need to put a little bit more detail. Okay, so I'm just doing a little bit of a lighter just so I can emphasize do I go lighter or darker? I feel like it needs to go a bit darker. Okay, I just need to go darker. Okay. So then we need to have almost like a nice little eye makeup happening. Okay, now let's get the pure blue. Let's continue building this out. Okay, and then I want to get a lighter color. Maybe that turquoise is what I'm using. Bring it out more. Okay. Um, I need more of that white just to Okay, and then we need to do a little bit of dot dot on the eye with white. So I use the back of my brush and I'll just go like, boop, like that. And I'll do another little bit, but one like right there. Doot doot, so this looks more realistic and good. All right, so I think the eye looks pretty decent. We can still do more to it. Just checking on my timer. All right. Okay. Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. What is next? Let's see. So we still need to get around the eye working. So let's get a nice orange happening. So I want to get the orange. Okay. And then I want to do a bit of a let's just change up this yellow a bit to an orange okay 
And then the beak, I do want it to stay like a yellow. Okay. So I'm just adding more yellow to it. Okay. Now on this beak, there was like a little like hole kind of thing going on. I'm just going to get the black. So where is that at? Like here. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, and a little bit of a shine happening like here in the white. Okay. Okay, let's put a little bit of white as well. When you put your hand all over your painting, it's inevitable that you're going to touch wet paint. I do it all the time. Just using white paint just to define it a little bit more. Okay. I think that is where it's going to be for now. Um, I do want to do a little bit more orange actually. Around the eye here. I want to do a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Oh my gosh, my tummy is making the weirdest noises. Okay. I think that is good. And then I just want to end it here with a bit of blue. Okay. And a little darker as well. Okay. Have to put a little dark line there and then just like mess it up a little bit with the blue. Okay, cool. So from here, we're going to do a few more things. We're going to put in the details on the peacock feathers. Um, and then we're going to put that plume that lives on top of this beautiful peacock's head. And then we can add a couple more details. So we'll continue in just a moment and uh, keep going. All right. So now let's put in a little bit more detail on our peacock feathers now i want to do the circle because they kind of look like eyeballs right um i want to do that so what am i going to use for that great question i think i'm going to make it i want to go back to the blue kind of i think that would make sense and it'll be good continuity with this so let's Let's put some circles in here in blue. I'm just going to do circles and then we'll add more details in a moment once that dries. And again, I suggest making them smaller and then increasing them in size as you go.
if we'll be able to see it on here, but I think we'll probably be able to see it there. So I'm going to put it on the side here. Like that. And maybe the same for that one up there. Just to keep the continuity on par. All right. So this one's a little funky. I think I made that one a little bit odd. Let's see if I can fix up the red and bring it down a little bit more. Just outlining these a little bit more, just to define them a bit more. Okay. Feel like that? Just define those sh the shape a little bit more. Okay, so I want to add a little bit more to these circles and to the red. Okay, so I want there to be a little bit more color variation in these red areas. And I like the orange. So I'm going to use yellow, I think. I think. I'm not sure how I want this to be. Let's just play with it. So I'm just going to add some yellow. Let's see how this goes. And I'll get some red. So I want to change it up a little bit because I don't want it to be just solid red. I know we had that color variation before. I'm going to do the same thing here. Thank you. 
I don't feel like that's making much of an impact. Just gonna add a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> With a large canvas, it definitely slips and slides more on my makeshift easel. Okay. Not so sure about it but we'll go with it for now um i'm gonna just get a little bit of orange i'm just gonna mix some of my red and my yellow together then i want to add a little bit of orange into where the red area is Okay, I think I'm liking that better, more defined yellow actually. Back and forth until we decide on what we like best. Yeah, I am digging that more. I'm going back over and putting in some more red. Okay. Yeah, I like the way these are feeling now. Much, 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 much better. Okay, so now 
I'm going to add a little bit more interest to these dotty spotties. Um, okay, so I think I'll use this one and see what we want to do at the bottom or at the top, maybe like here. So I'm just going to go and put like a curve in each one. I need a bit more of that blue. cute all right I'm gonna go back and just put a little bit darker blue in some spots okay cool so we got that going and then I want to put I'm gonna do a little bit more of that or uh, I should just go white messy dot I don't want it to be the same on each one I want it to be a little different um, I need to put more white on my palette became a bit more blue than white so let me just dotty spot it a little bit more impactfully I just don't want it to be white like predominantly okay all right I think I'm feeling pretty great about this so what else do I want to do with this I think um, I do want to play a little bit more and put some more um, specific lines. Oh yeah, and we also gotta do the, the thing, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. I want to still play and put some more um, lines here. Okay, I'm gonna get my brush that is a bit of an angle to help with this part. Okay, so let's go with yellow. Okay, I wanna just put a few more more obvious yellow strokes in here oh i got some red but that's okay Thank you. 
some more yellow just to play off this a bit more. And then we're going to do some orange, I think, too. Okay, let's do a little bit of orange. I'm just mixing my red and my yellow together to create a little pool of orange. And then we're going to do the same. Do a few more of these. Alright. That's pretty. I'm gonna do a few like in red, I think, too. Not too many. Keep them more on the further away zones. That's so pretty. Ooh, I like it. Okay, cool. Okie dokie. So now we need to put the little like thingies on the head. I'm just trying to find one I like. Because again, I'm looking at different, <clears throat> at different examples of it and taking kind of what I like and leaving what I don't care about. There's so many different ways you can capture um, a peacock, right? None of it is like, there's not like one, only one way that is perfect, you know? Um, now where is that guy though? I had another peacock that I was looking at more. I don't know where he went. Let's see. I guess like little lines. Mm. That's kind of cool. No, it's not really going with that. Um, 
Let's see. Ooh, some are really fun. Some go like back really cool. Some stick up. Some go across. Oh my gosh. There's so many ways to do these little peacock head toppers. All right, which way are we going to do it? Let's say looking at some of they look really cool. All right. And some I really don't like. <laughs> I just don't know where my initial one was. That's what's driving me a little crazy. There was one that I really liked the way it looked. And so that's why I was trying to find that one. Okay. So, um, since I can't find that one, I think we'll just go with maybe how is this this kind of idea. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so I want to make it. I'm going to use this still this brush here. Okay. Um, I'm going to stick with the blue. I think maybe I'll do a little bit of like purple and blue, just like make my blue a little darker, but not black darker. Just like yeah, that's good. Okay. So I think I'm going to have. They're all going to come from the same spot-ish. So we're going to have a smaller one, maybe like this. Okay, and then we're going to have another one. Okay. Another one up here. And then we'll do another, we'll do like a smaller one in the back. Another one like this. Another one maybe like higher up. Okay. Okay, that's good. And then we can do some stuff with it. Okay, so I think first off, I want to add a little bit to the lines in white. I'm going to go over each one. Very thinly okay if you hear some strange noise in the background my son I think is singing to himself quite loudly <laughs> All right, so that is good. I like the way that looks now. And now I'm going to get my thinner brush. And similarly, we're going to put, I think I might use the purple again with the blue. And then we'll lighten it up with white again. Okay, so I think I want it to be more purpley though. Okay. And then for each one, I think I'm just going to almost put like a circle kind of on top. Oof. Again, palm in paint. That one's a little bigger than all the rest of them. That's okay. Okay. 
Actually, you know what? I'm going to make this one also a little bigger, too. Here. Like a little party on his head. How adorable is that? Okay. And then I think I'm going to use the turquoise -y. And I'm just going to touch each one with maybe that one a little bit more. With the turquoise. Okay, so I have a little kiss of turquoise on each one. <clears throat> oh, I like that a lot. And then I'm going to get white and kind of do the same just near the top. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. All right, I think I'm almost done. I'm just going to see what else I want to do with this guy, if I want to add any more detail. And I want to just take a look over here. So, like, I'm seeing some canvas still poke through in some spots. So I'm going to go back and then just paint that a bit. I think I might want to do an outline around my guy. I think outlines are tricky. Sometimes they can really make it pop, and then sometimes they can make everything look <laughs> bad. Um, but I think I might do that. So I'm going to go with, let's just do it with this right now. I'm just going to go and try to put more of a defined line around these curves that I have happening. Just to like separate them one from the other. I'm still ideally keeping the gradient happening like within them. Okay, so I do think that is a little better. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to add a little bit more. I kind of want to put a bit of yellow in some of these. I kind of want to just go and like touch some yellow. Maybe in like the top ones. Maybe just like that, I think. A little bit of yellow. Okay. Um, okay. No, I don't know if I would do one not outline it. Like, I feel like I kind of do, and I kind of don't. <laughs> <clears throat> Mixed on it. <clears throat> I do think I need a bit more of a definition on the beak. So right now, we're just going to go and just do any sorts of touch-ups that you would want to do. Whatever you think. I think I'm gonna put like a couple little like 
dots, little dots of that around the eye. That. I think that's cute. <clears throat> yeah, I like that a lot, actually. Mm. <clears throat> what else? I think like this line's kind of bothering me because it kind of looks like it's like the beak but it's not so I'm just gonna try to define this that it's like a background and not yeah that's better It was kind of, it was weird, but now I think it's better. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is good. This is weird. I'm just going to add a little bit more dot curve. Okay, cool. All right. I think, I think I'm going to call it complete. <clears throat> I feel like I could still do a few more details, but, <clears throat> oh gosh, <clears throat> popping up a storm. So some of them have more details like in the like feathers, but I don't think I want to do that. I think I feel pretty comfortable with the way this guy is looking. So we're going to leave him and we are going to say that that is our completed peacock. So I hope you all enjoyed this session. Again, if you painted along with me, please take a picture of your painting and share it on the Lisa's Painting Party's Facebook group because I'd love to take a look and uh, check it out. And everyone in the community loves to look at them too because they always end up being slightly different. Again, um, thank you for joining me. And if you're interested, you can definitely go and watch. Um, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel and also my Facebook page under the videos tab. Um, and uh, that would be all for now. So I'll see you all next month. Have a great rest of your day, rest of your week, rest of your month, and I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone.